seven provinces. And those claims went through. Chief Likuleni is actually amongst those who claimed the city of Pretoria. And his claims were gazetted. A judgment was issued in his name on a matter of Victor Vela Pelikuleni versus the state in 2011, ruling in his favor. Then that file of all. Person, Honorable Chairperson, just a few uh, cosmetic changes. Uh, 7.6, if we can just put it on the screen. <laughs> Whilst, whilst you are searching for it, it says consider a budget, budget allocation, and then there's a long sentence, but it doesn't say for what. So I think we must say consider a, ballot, a budget allocation for a GMP, or a new bu budget allocation for a GMP, because that's a long sentence that just says budget allocation and not what for. Uh, then uh, later on in that same paragraph, it is referring to the 492 million. And then it says, however, the once off allocation, referring to the 492 million, was and remains insufficient. It, it was not insufficient. At that stage, it was sufficient, but it now is insufficient. And OBP told us that now their estimates is that that will cost uh, in excess of 2 billion. So I think we must just take out the word was insufficient. And then on the last sentence on that page, uh, I, I think we're missing something, Chairperson. I'm going to read it. It says, notwithstanding the 25 million that National Treasury allocated to the OBP for the procurement of a freeze dryer, and then it, here's my problem, the OBP requires an additional 2 billion to procure and maintain the equipment that is required to ensure sustainable vaccine, vaccine production. Then, while the GMP product, uh, project is in progress, that 2 billion is for the GMP product. Uh, project. It's not to carry on with other stuff whilst the GMP product uh, project is in uh, progress. And as it reads there, it, it says the OBP requires an additional 2 billion to procure and maintain the equipment that is required to ensure sustainable vaccine production while the GMP project is in progress. That, as I said, is for the GMP project. We must just make sure of that uh, because that can be a huge financial thing. <coughs> Uh, Chairperson, I have also had that uh, internal international thing. Mm -hmm. Then on clause 7.18, sorry, that, that, that is that. Uh, 7.19, ensure that OBP submit progress reports to Parliament monthly on legal cases and then again progress on the GMP project. They currently is not a GMP project because there are no funding. So maybe we should just there say progress on acquiring funds. acquiring funds for a GMP project because currently there is nothing. But that, that is that is something small. It was highlighted yesterday. Uh, Seven point twenty two. Uh, ensures that countries explore more international markets and then it goes in the last sentence it says vaccines particularly in the SADC region I think it's very important that we must there again say we can supply the SADC region and we must obviously uh, explore that but only after we have satisfied the local needs mm. uh, we, we have touched on it previously mm. but I think it's very important there uh, Chairperson I'm just scrolling to that is it from my side, Chairperson. Okay. Thank you very much. And I think they're noting, just before I allow Honorable uh, Trollip to, to come in, I, I was also just worried about the long sentences because then in the process they lose the, the, the meaning of what we want to say. There is somewhere in the, um, I, I will go to it later, in the um, uh, recommendations to the Minister of Finance. We tell him everything about biosecurity and everything, and I don't think he's interested in that. He is interested in giving us money just to know exactly. I'll go back to that, which one is it? But uh, I'm just saying the long sentence, the longer we make the sentences, the, the essence of what we want to say get lost there. And I think that uh, we need to just summarize them, go to the point, say exactly what we want to say to the ministers. I'm worried about the, the whole load shopping list also that we're sending to the ministers when they have all this kind of a, 
of responsibilities and then we give them the long shopping list it's not and and it's not only us especially on 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 finance minister it's not only us only who are going to send these uh, uh, requests so if they read ours and they find that it's it's long it does not have a meaning and all that it's easy to throw it in the dustbin and look at those that have written short sentences who want money for gmp want money for fmd you know all those things so um i thought but then there is an issue around um, if you can you know just as i mean clarify later on honorable ukamp you went back to it on the 2 billion and the 1,2 billion on the on on obp i'm not very sure how much is it that they said they wanted um but i think um nox you will come in uh, honorable trollip i'm sorry to have just come in like that sorry chair can i just say uh, sorry for interrupting mm. they said that they did not have an estimation yeah. a proper estimation but they believe that it will be at least two billion, two billion. for the new uh, gmp facility oh okay thank, thank you very much okay <coughs> Yeah, thanks, Chair. I just want to uh, concur with you. I think concise and focused sentences in any report are the way to go. Long rambling sentences lose people's attention. Um, with regard to the ITB, I thought I had made a, a recommendation the other day, but you know, like any board or any entity, if they do not submit their reports on time, we must make a finding to that effect and just say it's unacceptable. The ITB has not, missed, has not met the deadline and that they will have to rectify it. Because if we just are silent on some entities or boards not providing reports, we're going to end up with a problem. So I think the, the finding is simple, that they were late, they haven't submitted, and two, that they must fix it as a matter of urgency. OK. Thank you, Honorable Trollip. Honorable uh, Chetro. Uh, greetings, Chair, fellow honorable members and officials. No, I just wanted to put it clear because clearly it is not clear. We, the kings, lodged claims in 94 under what is called Amandevela Kingdom and King's Alliance in the entire Transvaal, which takes about seven provinces. And those claims went through. Chief Likuleni is actually amongst those who claimed the city of Pretoria. And his claims were gazetted. A judgment was issued in his name on a matter of Victor Vela Pilikuleni versus the state in 2011, ruling in his favor. Then that file of all those kings, which takes the seven provinces, because those are Ndebeles, Ndebele Tswana, Ndebele Sutu, Ndebele Pedi, Tsonga, and so on. That file, we have it on our side as a Marcos, but you guys don't have it. Two, you guys are talking about CBAs on our land where we claimed, and that's the only thing you know. And we're saying, here is our file. We have claim from numbers. Therefore, I'm saying, if this matter continues to say our file doesn't exist, I'm not talking about a reopening in 20. Honorable um, um, Teto, let me yes. just help here um, mm. so that uh, we don't go further. These officials that you're talking to are your officials. They are not from the department. Um, um, so, you, you made your point when the department was here, and, um, and um, if, they, if you feel that the department has not responded um, adequately to the matter, because I heard the doctor saying, um, in terms of how the department has handled the issues of um, claim, claim, claims, they have not separated um, Amakosi from any other person. They all are in one basket. And I think he also made an example with the, um, where the, the portfolio committee went to in Komazi, Mawewe, um, 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 tribal um, uh, community there, that all the authority there, that uh, all the, 
Amakosi, they, they made one claim, the Bashangana, where they made one claim, and it, they were respond I know that they responded, the department responded, because I come from that side. So if you feel that, uh, because I'm, I'm thinking we are going to continue and talk to the wrong people, um, because these ones are supposed to be with you, they are supposed to be assisting you um, to raise the matter. So if you feel like the department has not responded to you adequately on the matter, I would like to uh, request my chair, uh, with due respect, um, to speak to yourself, you know? If, if you can come and speak to the chair at some point outside the meeting, make, um, and if the doctor would also be in, just to clarify uh, certain issues so that um, from that meeting, you walk out with the understanding of how the process went, and if you are not satisfied, then um, through my, my co-chair here, you can then write something that would go to the department, that the department, and I think doctor can help us to write that, that would then come back as a response that would um, at least address your issues because my worry is that uh, you will keep on raising this matter amongst ourselves and nobody is going to be able to assist you the people who are supposed to be assisting you is the department i only wanted to clarify that okay so they so there wouldn't be no no need for you to continue with it if you have a particular recommendation that you want to make we can make but when i was listening to you uh prince Mted, I think that uh, you need this kind of an arrangement that I'm proposing with the chairperson of land and Chilidi, who's a, Dr. Chilidi, who's a, um, the content advisor in, in, the, in the portfolio committee, if you don't mind. Okay, Chair, so provided then, because I was raising it because it is carried in the report yes. and is carried wrongly. That's why it is also in the interest of this portfolio to know that this matter is not captured as I know it and as it is in the report. So when I address it, maybe just that when I say you, obviously at the back of my mind, I'm talking about the department, but it's fine, I will take this direction. Yeah, it will come back to and, us. And, it will, and, and yeah, Honorable M. Tetwa, without, with due respect, uh, without wanting to trivialize uh, the issue that you are raising, I think it's very important. What I'm trying to say is that um, it will not help us here for you to want to clarify how is it carried in the report because they carried it in the report on the basis of what the department has said so it will help that uh, you meet with the with the with the chair and the doctor here and discuss once you have finally found each other it will then come back to us we will then be able to, so that we don't waste enough time here with the doctor coming back to say, like I said earlier on, this is what has happened, this is what Amanya Makosi has said. So I want, I'm just trying to cut the, the discussion short. But it will come back to us as a committee because we have an interest in it also. To hear, uh, it would not help if the Amakosi outside who have claimed uh, either because um, they, they have not been responded to or because they had not qualified on the basis of one, two, three, and all that. So we will want to know it later on. Okay. Um, is it Honorable Nana who's coming in? Yes, I suppose it's me, Chairperson. Yes. Welcome to LT Celeb Times. That's it for now, guys. And uh, please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching.